Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to connect up your Nintendo Switch Pro controller to your Windows machine so you can use the other CXBX Reloaded emulator which is an emulator for the original Xbox, the OG Xbox so you can play with Nintendo Switch Pro controllers. It's a pretty good controller to be fair, it's a nice controller. Okay, so you can connect it in one of two ways using a wire and you'll need a USB type C cable and on the other end either USB type A the regular USB or USB type C if you have a computer that has USB type C ports this particular one that I'm using does not it's a custom build from a little while ago so it does not okay or you can connect it via Bluetooth obviously for that you will need Bluetooth in your computer whether that's using an external dongle like what I've got, just a few quid, few dollars off eBay or Amazon, just get a cheap one, that'll be fine. Or if you've got it built in. To get it to work, you need a extra piece of software. It's a really cool piece of software. It's called Better Joy for CEMU. I'll provide a link to this in the description. So just click, go to here go to releases just download the latest version as of you know when you go and get it x64 for 64 bit x86 for 32 bit if you do not know then go to your pc go to system properties and right there mine 64 bit and if it is 64 bit then you can download either if it's 32 bit you need to download x86 so i'm going to click that I'm going to cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. Mm, and next, what we are going to do is we can actually close this down now. We're going to install it. So right click, go to extract all. Just click extract. Should only take a few seconds. And now in here, you want to go to drivers, go to HID Guardian, right click the install button because there's an uninstall option as well if you want to uninstall them later on. So right click this. Go to run as administrator. This will pop up. If it does, go to more info. Run anyway. Click yes. It will just start installing. Again, this only takes a few seconds. Does not take very long at all. So let's just wait for this to complete. Almost done. You'll say, there you go. And if you want to uninstall it, same process there. So you just press any key at the end to close it. And now we need to install this. And you won't have this option. I'm just going to go to modify. Uh, I, I'll, I'll remove it. You won't have this option for the simple reason because I've already in, installed it. So let me remove it and then I'll reinstall it. So this is what it'll look like for you. And there we go. Now we can actually open this up. Before we open it up, I'll show you how to use both methods to connect it up. I'll minimize this. So we can use a cable. So what I'm going to do is open, if you type in game, you want to go to the setup USB game controllers. So nothing appears there. If I plug this in and I connect this up, this will appear there in a second. The orange light has turned on to indicate that it's charging. So it should appear there soon. It hasn't appeared. Let me just disconnect it. It's actually fine because we would need the software anyway, but sometimes it appears B still can't use it. So what the software allows us to do is turn this into an Xbox controller. So I'll put this over here. I'll open Better Joy for CEMU up. And I'll have it so you can see that window as well. Click run anyway. And as you can see, it's picked up the controller and it's mapped here as an Xbox controller. If I go to properties, as you can see, when I press buttons and move the sticks, it actually detects it. So that's done. But if I was to close this down, this one, so you need to leave this open and you can have up to four controllers. If I click locate, it just vibrates the controller that you are locating. Close this down. As you can see, that controller has now disappeared. Let me show you the Bluetooth option for connecting it. It's almost the same. It's just got to go into the Bluetooth settings. If I go to Bluetooth and other devices, 
and what we're going to do is go to add bluetooth and to put this into sync mode you got to keep this slow it's this small button there pressed uh, it's, it's can be a little hard you might need something sharp or should be able to press it for a few seconds and then this will start flashing so i'll keep it pressed there you go they flash in that's in sync mode and you'll be the one with the great game controller pro controller let's click that click close and it's detected it there and again if it detects it there ignore that because we need the better joy for cemu open that as you can see it's picked it up as an xbox controller now click properties and this all works great so remember you need this open we can just minimize it this has just minimized it to the taskbar and i can open it like that but again that is a requirement you need that open now what we're going to do is map these controls to the cxbx reloaded emulator so click ok uh, ok and now what we're going to do is go to my emulator is over here and where is it? there it is and now you want to go to settings config input and you can choose a duke or a s controller to essentially configure and forever port go to configure select x input and if it doesn't appear just click refresh there it is and now we can start you know mapping everything again i'll change it to let's say if i change it to that so the controls are slightly different but if i do that that's a that's b i, oh, I forgot it's an actually no let me go to that one a b uh, again I just pressed the Y button, but remember it's mapped it like an Xbox controller. So this is like X, where because the Nintendo controllers and the Xbox controllers have A, B, and X, Y flipped. So it's bear that in mind. So you might think it's not doing it right, but it is. Don't worry. And now for the black buttons, I was going to use the shoulder buttons, which are right and left. So right. But again, you don't have to. You can do whatever configuration you want. It's one of the whole points of using an emulator. You can sort of configure it the way you want. I'll use this minus as back. I'll use plus as start. Again, that's why it's automatically mapped the Xbox controls to. But obviously, if I was to do minus for that, or minus, this is just the back button. So let's do plus. Let's do the left stick. So this one here up, down, left, right left stick now up down left right right stick another d-pad there we go north so up down left and right no sorry that's left that's right i made a long mistake now the triggers we just use these so the left trigger and that one the right trigger that one i'm going to name this as the switch pro controller switch pro controller click save make sure you click save you got to have some sort of profile and there we go we got all our profiles you can switch between them but make sure you do save the profile and let me just show you we're working if i go to open up shrek i always use shrek just for the simple reason it has pretty decent compatibility with this emulator okay and as you can see it's marked it as controller one so we I can press a to skip this starting part so the cxbx reloaded part is the same whether you've got it connected via wireless bluetooth or via a usb type c cable as you can see i can move up and down i can press the b button which is mapped as the xbox a controller button and there we go so that is it i'm not going to show you anymore there's nothing more to really see apart from that if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video